Okay, let's get started. First thing we need to do is go to Office 365, which is portal.office.com. And here, and it'll take you to sign in for your Microsoft account. This is the account that you've got for your business account. So in my case, right here, I'm going to log into my GoCloud Systems account. Select that, Microsoft then goes away and realizes that it's for a work account and I enter my password in there. No matter what you do here, this doesn't seem to keep you signed in. It keeps you signed in for a while, it just creates a cookie. Let's click sign in. What will happen is we'll load up with our Office 365 instance. If you don't have Office 365, you'll just see a CRM icon. So you'll see this icon up on the left hand side. In our case, our business has lots of things going on, as a partner should. So what you should be doing is clicking on this icon here, and this will load up your CRM instance. I ask you to sign in again. In this case, we'll do that. Go away and authenticate and make sure that you're a user in your organization. Um, sometimes you're not, um, and so the first step would be to contact your administrator and make sure you are actually added as a user to CRM. Cool. So here we go, CRM in all its glory, and I've set the marketing dashboard as my login page. You can change that by choosing a, um, a dashboard and setting that as the default. So I said, for example, what the overview, and I could set that as default. What we're going to do today is show you how to work with leads. So leads works under the sales area. In the sales area, you have a tab called leads. Click on leads and that loads up a list. It loads up a view, a list which is filtered by this view type here. There's lots of views, system views that, um, that are there by default and you can create your own personal ones or you can um, configure the system to have system views. In this case, we're using the All Leads view. Um, that has all leads if they're open or closed. What I've done for this view is I've customized it so there's a few columns along here. And these are actually charity organizations that load into our system. When you click on one of these, it'll load up. So this is the listing, if you like, of view. When you click on a lead, double click on it. It loads up the lead screen and it shows all the details that are related to that lead. If we click the close button here and we'll go back to the lead list. Cool. And in this case you want to create a new one. So if we go up to the top left hand side, this is a menu up here, click new and it will load up a fresh lead screen and we can start entering some information. The way you can do that is you can either use the quick bar up top, which is just like a quick workflow, but it's actually, um, it can or cannot be used. I can turn that off or fill in the fields down here. In this case, I've got a lead, a very uh, interesting lead, which is around using a company called Upwork, which you're familiar with, Upwork um, possible leads. products and the contact I've got here I'm just going to actually call it up um, works, which is actually a, a website it has some leads on there different jobs I'm going to click down they're the only two compulsory fields that you need to fill in however you can put your stakeholders who are the people you're speaking to who are the competitors possibly the company which I might actually put in here and what happens is that this information is actually converted into um, an account record and so this information is turned into an account record and the name, the person's name is turned into a contact when your lead is turned into an opportunity, but no sooner. Okay, if you've got any other details, stick them through. You can choose their industry code, number of employees, quite important here. And up the top we have a rating, so in this case you might go it's hot, warm or cold. So in this case I might say there's a, there's a hot lead. And once I'm finished, I'm going to click save. 
And what save does is it saves the record and just takes you back to the same screen. And if I click save and close, it will close the screen. I'm happy with all that information, so I'm going to go back to my lead listing. And there we go. We've actually got our lead in the system. That's how you create a lead.